Wind is seen as one of the most efficient energies when it comes to water usage. Wind turbines are being built and erected at astonishing speed. We visited the Lake Turkana Wind Power Project in Kenya, where this form of energy is invigorating the local economy, bringing jobs and electricity. Wind power matters to Kenya because Kenya has an incredible resource in wind. Kenya could rely on having up to, I would say, at least uh, 10 to 12,000 megawatts of wind in the future. The intermittency of wind has been seen as a problem, but technologies such as pump storage, batteries and international connectors mean that the energy is not wasted. Solar is quickly growing as one of the world's key sustainable energy providers, like this enormous photovoltaic site in France. The solar site of Cestas produces energy which sells for 105 euros per megawatt hour, which is very competitive. And to give you an idea, it's cheaper electricity than one produced by the new generation nuclear reactors. By pairing solar PV with intelligent batteries such as this system in Germany, consumers are now becoming power providers, buying and selling to the grid and reducing the amount of energy, and thus water, needed to power their homes. All sorts of agriculture crops are becoming energy resources, such as gas and biofuel, but they all generally have a high water footprint. Under current production conditions, it takes roughly 2,500 litres of water to produce one litre of liquid biofuel, the same amount needed on average to produce food for one person for one day. So the key is finding a balance that reduces competition with food crops, a challenge that one project in Kenya we visited has done, using agricultural waste to make biogas. Do that and we change the whole relationship between agricultural waste and energy and every farm, every farmer becomes an energy supplier as well as a food grower. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.